Ayun. Azzy. So these are the two puppies. The little pit bull is Gypsy. Yeah, just turned a year old. Lucia's the uh, kind of corso female. A year and a half. This is Dolce. Dolce. Give me this. You got something in your eye, girl. Dolce is the dominant female. Oh, see, she's got some gunk in her eye. And then Ozzy, the big boy over there, he's uh, my alpha male. Kind of corso. Come on, baby girl. Bring it here. <laughs> She's waiting for me to throw that. Bring it here. So I'm just getting home. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, man, baby girl. Come on, us. Ah, Ozzy! Ozzy! Good! Oh, got a little bit of eye infection there. Give me this, Chew! Give me this, Chew! I'm gonna get it. Let me get your eye. Let me see your eye. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Let me see your eye. Hi, Papa! Hi, Papa! Come on, Gypsy! Hi, sweet girl! Don't you bring it here! Good girl. Good girl. Oh, the baby girl. Nope. I'm trying to get Gypsy not to lick my face. Give me this one. Let me see your eye, baby. Come here. Come here. Let me see their eye. Let me see your eye. I'm trying to get her eye. I'm trying to wipe her eye. She's got a little something bothering her eye there. Well, y'all. Huh? What's going on in YouTube land? Um. There you go, baby girl. Sweet girl, Lucia. Oh, I, I think she's smelling... Uh, I spilled some uh, coffee on my shirt, so she's probably smelling that. Well, it, well anyways, uh, I got that leash. Lucia, bring it here. <laughs> Lucia's got the leash in her, in her, in her jaws right now. She's... Uh, I brought that leash from the car because I want to do some uh, real quick some more leash training with Lucia let me, let me show let me throw her this thing real quick she's raring to go chomping at the bit give me this give me this sit good sit go for it good girl because I was saying on an earlier video how the puppies, they may have this little mate syndrome where they kind of separate themselves from the pack, the two puppies, and they just kind of do their own thing. And see, they're just playing, playing separately with each other. Which is, you know, it's good that they get their exercise and they rough and tumble like that. This little pit bull is, is uh, fearless, you know, she's... She probably thinks she's a big kind of corso like Ozzy. She doesn't she didn't realize how small she is, but she's all muscle. But yeah, so anyways, um, the, the, the danger with littermate syndrome is, you know, you want your puppy to look to you for everything, for guidance. You want to make that strong bond between the two of you. But with littermate syndrome, they kind of just bond with each other more than they do with the pack leader. So uh, what I'm trying to do is get them one-on-one. -on -one. I recently posted a video of where I took just the two of them out. Just the two of them. <laughs> I just took the two of them and uh, did some socialization out in public and some more leash training out in public. But ideally it's, you know, it's better if you're worried about litter mate syndrome to kind of deal with them one-on-one -on -one. and we see how that pit bull dropped she dropped into submissive right away she really respects Ozzy as the alpha dog which is good which is really good only problem is she doesn't respect Dolce as the beta female she doesn't really respect Dolce as much for being uh, more dominant than her so that's the situation I got on my hands and Lucia, I uh, uh, get get girls get back, get back, Dolce, get back, hey, get 
Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get back. Get. Y'all. These two females right here. Gotta watch them closely because they're starting to. Lucia's starting to put a lot of resistance over up against uh, Dolce, who's more dominant. Give me this. Get back. Get back. Get back, Lucia. I'm going to walk into Lucia. Get back, Lucia. See, see how now Dolce got it. Lucia wants to take it from Dolce, which is disrespectful, and, and Dolce is trying to tell her no. I got this. This is mine. Come here. Come here, Lucia. Come. Good girl. Good recall. Good girl, Lucia. Good girl. Come on, Lucia. So what am I going to do with Lucia right now? Come on, girl. Very good, baby girl. You want to go? Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take her for a real quick uh, stroll around the block. Good girl. You're my Lucia. You're my Lucia. Good girl, Lucia. Good girl, Lucia. Good girl, Lucia. Okay, baby. Good girl. Come on. Come on, Lucia. We're losing some light here, so I gotta do this kind of quickly. Get back, Gypsy. Now, see how Gypsy wants to go wherever Lucia goes? <laughs> Lucia walks very nicely on a leash. She doesn't, she doesn't go in front of me. Just a minute, guys. Very, very nicely. Good girl, baby. Good girl. Come on, this. Yeah, she she's really good on a leash with me. Just a minute, Oz. I'm just gonna give her a little bit of tug back whenever she tries to cross in front of me. Good girl. Good girl, baby. Ozzy, just a minute. So, as soon as we get away from the homestead, she uh, she gets a little bit more concerned whenever we get far farther away from the house. She's very cautious. Look how beautifully she's she's walking behind me to my side. Good girl, baby. Very good, Lucia. Very good, Lucia. Very good. Okay, sit. Lucia. Sit. Sit. Lucia. Sit. Good girl. Good sit. Good girl. Very good. She's doing wonderful, y'all. Good sit. Very good. She's very obedient. Okay, come on. Yeah, I'm just going to give her a slight tug again when she, when she gets in front of me. But I want to keep this loose. I want to keep this leash kind of loose. Okay, baby. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, baby. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. Very good. Good girl. Good girl. You give her lots of praises. Good girl. Okay, come here, baby. Come this way. Come this way. Come. Good girl. Sit. Good sit, baby girl. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. Gosh, she did amazing, didn't she? Just for those little five, not even five minutes, probably. But it makes a huge difference um, with the dog, with bonding, with them getting used to looking to you for guidance. One trick that I like to use, I mean, not a trick, but it's a good method of getting them leash trained is you'll be walking with them and then you just abruptly do an about face like turn directions so that they they're like oh whoa you messed up my flow so then they're kind of forced to follow you like this okay baby come and then i just kind of turn into them like this here you go bam she has to follow me very good very good, baby. Come on. 
Okay, so now she can go with the rest of her pack. Very good. Give my little G. Let's go. Dolce, get back. Come on. Get back, Dolce. See, immediately Dolce will put submit. We'll put her in submissive posture. Dolce is just confirming that she's more dominant, and she is. And Lucia lets her be, which is, that's a good sign. Lucia is licking her muzzle. So that's good. Come on, baby. Hi, Papa. Well, yeah, um, it's very late, but I just wanted to kind of check in with you, better say hi. Let you see the pack and kind of demonstrate what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do. Um, to kind of break up that litter mate syndrome where these two puppies are kind of just They're just kind of doing their own thing. It can be dangerous like I posted on a previous video because it can be dangerous when you have two puppies that kind of rely on each other and they They don't look as much up to the pack leader the human they kind of just uh, rely more on each other but one way I'm dealing with that. Hey! Come here, come here, come here, come here. Move. Yeah, again, again, I'm gonna have to not have uh, any item, any any item that they both want. I'm gonna have to take that away from them because they're both competing too strongly for it, and it's gonna be a fight. So. Put this on this table again, and they're not allowed to have it. Nope. Uh, but yeah, y'all, um, I'm losing light quickly here, so I'll wrap this up pretty quick. Y'all get back. That's enough. That's mine. Hi, Gypsy girl. So, yeah, anyways, um, get back, don't you? Get back, who are you? <laughs> get back, Gypsy. Uh, yeah, it's getting kind of grainy because it's getting dark outside, but... So that's what I'm doing. Um, just, you know, it only takes a couple minutes a day and um, it's just what I'm just trying to do is, is get that really good bonding with, with the puppies, with Lucia. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this with, uh, with Gypsy next. Okay, y'all. So yeah, it's, it's a, it was another early morning for me. I had to get up at 4 a.m. this morning again and home late. And so I got a, a baby here. Look at how much they drool when they drink water. So I got to get the dog some dinner, get me some dinner. Hi, darling. Hi, baby dear. But yeah, I just want to show you that kind of what I'm doing um, to, uh, hi baby boy, to uh, just, to, you know, it's always good to reinforce leash training. And so that's just, so it's just like clockwork. When you put your dog on a leash, it should be second nature to them, that they, they want to follow you, that they don't go in front of you. And after a while, you know, they, they just get it and it's just second nature. Um, so I think that, uh, that's what I'm going to do from here on out is more or less every day. I might not be able to do it every day, but just spend like at least five minutes with each and every one of my dogs individually. I try to do gyp little gypsy next. You're next, little girl. She's got her rock. She's carrying her rock around. <laughs> gypsy girl. Gypsy, give me that rock. But yeah, y'all, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Um, thanks for subscribing if you already have. If you haven't subscribed already, it really helped the channel grow if you hit that subscribe button. I know YouTube's been doing some weird things lately where it unsubscribes people that have already been subscribed. It'll just randomly unsubscribe people. So just check if you're subscribed. Oh, ooh, you're going to get in trouble, girl. Lucia! Lucia! You can get in trouble, girl. Ozzy's about to let you know. Hi, Papa. So, uh, again, yeah, thanks, y'all, for, for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Um, comment down below what you, what you do uh, with your dogs. 
um, for your leash training. I think a lot of people probably do take their dogs out for walks more than I do because for, for exercise, they kind of just run around the property and they exercise with each other. And you can see they're, they're like out of breath. Look at Dolce, look at Dolce, she's completely out of breath. And Lucia too, just from, uh... hi baby girl. Hi, baby girl. Sweet girl. Sweet girl. Just from playing with each other and sparring. Dolce. Dolce. See that? It's not even hot outside, but that's just how much energy they've exerted. And so that's why I don't really have to uh, uh, leash walk them for exercise, per se. But it's always good, I think, to leash walk. At least for the training and to bond with the dog. And so she did very, very well. Good job, baby girl. That's a good girl. She's a smart, she's a very smart dog. And, uh, and, and I think all of them are, so. Uh, so far, she's been a dream, a dream dog to train. Gypsy's so proud of her rock. Well, anyways, hope you all having a good night, y'all. Thanks for watching again, and we'll see you on the next one. Baby boy. Okay. Are you? Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Okay, baby girl. Okay, baby girl. Sweet girl. Sweet girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs>